Hi, it's Alan Madonic. I've been asked to make a video about how Toastmasters has helped me become a better communicator and leader. Seven years ago, I was working as a VP of sales at a mattress company in Toronto. I was on the phone at lunchtime with who else, a Toastmaster, when my boss came into my office and started screaming at me, did you talk to Mrs. Smith? Did you tell her that she can't use the marketing dollars that I told you not to say anything to her? I don't want you ever speaking to her again. Believe it or not, that was probably the 50th time that my boss had mentally, as well as physically, abused me. I decided at that point to walk into his office, tell him I'm not feeling well. I walked out of the office. Believe it or not, I never came back. I was very, very depressed. If you are bullied at work, it's a huge burden on your shoulders. And I decided I just couldn't take it anymore. As it turns out, the night that he yelled at me for the last time, I was Toastmaster hosting one of our speech champions from District 60 and giving him a warm-up for the semi-finals of the World Champion of Public Speaking. And I went out, I had my script, I did my job as best I could, and then after the event, my friend who was on the phone with me during the yelling and the screaming said, I can't believe that you were able to be the Toastmaster tonight when you just had an incredibly humiliating experience the same day. And I said, well, you know that song by the Jumbo Wambas? I get knocked down and I get up again. There's nothing gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. It's the same with Toastmasters. Toastmasters has made me become resilient. I know I don't always give the best speech, Sometimes I use filler words, sometimes I freeze on stage. But I feel that I have the resiliency because I have such tremendous support from my Toastmasters. I had support from my friend on the phone when I was getting yelled and screamed at by my boss. And I have support in my club if I'm having a tough day, whether it has to do with Toastmasters meetings, something at home or something at work. So I encourage you to embrace District 60, hug your Toastmasters family, and celebrate the Jumbo Wambas. I get knocked down. I get up again. You ain't never gonna see me down. I get knocked down. I get up again. Okay, you have a headache.